So, guys, another video. I thought I would do a little follow-up video to my Blast Beat tutorial that I posted maybe around about a month ago. Um, we got a lot of really good uh, feedback, um, and I think one of the other things that, again, people fed back to me was there's a few other things that maybe people want to have a little uh, look at that I do on a regular basis um, that would actually be quite useful to know a little bit more about. So, in this video, we're going to be having a little talk about um, D-Beats. Now, what I mean by a D-Beat is basically like the most generic uh, type of hardcore beat that you could think about. Um, so, um, it's normally just between kind of the hi-hat, uh, the kick and the snare. Um, but there's obviously lots of different varieties there. Um, some experiences of playing within the Frontier, but also in a band called Sectioned, primarily a hardcore band, um, really actually helped me kind of expand my repertoire of what I could kind of do with that kind of groove. Um, especially with what the, uh, the drums were requiring me to do. So in this video we're going to have a look at uh, three main examples of um, the beat that I use within the section of the material, material and I also like to play on a regular basis uh, just because they're really fun. So hopefully you stick around and uh, enjoy this little uh, lesson but if there is anything else that you want to uh, kind of find out about or you know again look a bit further into uh, by all means hit me up on social media um, and I'll do my best to accommodate any requests. Cool, let's get cracking. So the first beat is the uh, the most common. Um, it basically just uses a combination of snare, kick, and hi hat, or whatever symbol that you want. Um, but I'll just give you a, a slow demonstration of uh, this one. Um, and there's lots of different ways that you can kind of embellish it. So we'll go through those as well. Okay. the speed that you'll mainly hear this one at. You can also do a variation on the kick where it's a bit more regular. This one's a little bit uh, different um, because it kind of does tend to switch things up and this is one that I would uh, use a lot with uh, the sectioned material that I would play. Um, so I'll just give it slow first, um, just so you can kind of hear it. It is a bit of a blend between a couple, um, but see what you think. about here today is a very very odd one and this is one that again not a lot of bands tend to use um, but it's pioneered by Head, um, the writer behind Frontier and Sectioned um, and basically it's a beat where the cymbal follows the kick in such a way that it makes the snare sound like an offbeat then actually how it sounds is, is kind of really odd so um, yeah just uh, take a listen. version of that would be 
two snares for every revolution. But I don't know, dropping one just seems to give it this really kind of weird feel, um, which I really like. So uh, let's just hear that again. And at full speed. Yeah, kind of coming back around to the, the original kind of sense of these patterns, they're pretty much all built around the, the kick and the snare. So yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video, um, hopefully that kind of made sense. Um, again, any questions, um, I'm more than happy to kind of help you out with, uh, with any requests there. Um, but yeah, hopefully that was educational and I'll catch you on the next one.